hey friends welcome back to my channel if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you've been here before thank you so so much for tuning back in so basically in this one i am going to be getting ready with you guys um this is not a makeup tutorial this is just a chit chat to get ready with me and on this one i'm going to be talking about friends how to spot a toxic friend i am also going to be throwing in some interesting stories at the end there about me and my friends so if you're interested in that then go ahead and keep on watching trolling to chit chatting this is not a, a makeup tutorial by the way i just decided that you know what i'm just gonna come on here and talk about a random things um i went on instagram and i asked i asked <laughs> uh, my asked um my peeps over there what they would like me to talk about um in this tutorial i just said it's not a tutorial on this chit chat get ready with me and then um a couple of people actually responded and they gave me ideas or topics i should be covering on today's episode of get ready with simply so but before we get into that um i know i've been gone for for quite some time now i think it's how long have i been missing two three four weeks a month <laughs> i'm not sure honestly but it's been quite some time that i took off to rest that's simply because i wasn't feeling well i wasn't feeling like myself so being in front of the camera and stuff like that i wasn't trying to film anything honestly i was a bit down i was in the pits you know when they say inside the pits i was inside of the pits so i just um moisturized my skin with my sunscreen now i'm just gonna prep my face with this prepping spray and so the first thing i'm gonna talk about that someone said we should talk about is actually something that i am I'm gonna use this foundation this one it's finished i do have another one over here but because i love it so much i wanna make sure it is finished like proper 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 finished so one of the first things that someone suggested we talk about is actually friendships or toxic friendships to be more specific so now when it comes to things like um friends i am not good i could say i'm a toxic friend <laughs> okay i'm lying i'm not a toxic friend i'm just not a good friend like i'm not the best friend you could have which is something I'm trying to, I'm still trying to work on because it's not nice not having friends. Um, I'm just going to blend that in with my damp beauty blender. As you guys know, this is my favorite foundation so far. Guys, ever since I bought the foundation, I've been using it almost all the time when I put on makeup. I am obsessed i am obsessed with this um, foundation so like i was saying i'm not the best of friend you could have i am trying to work on that trait about me but it's actually difficult because i am old and making friends at my age is is extremely hard like making friends is is the pits honestly guys making friends is hard not just friends like friends friends but like real 
genuine like a real um connection with with a group of girls or a girl or someone it, it, it it's hard i don't want to lie to you it is very hard so it it has become quite difficult for me to make friends and to keep friends i do have like a like a good number of friends like a solid group of friends some of them i've been friends with them for for years how long have i been friends with some of my friends i've been friends with some of my friends for like 10 years like my those are my like my my friends like my high school friends i've been friends with them for the longest time and then i also have my varsity friend that i'm still friends with but um along the line i have lost some friends and honestly <sighs> the friends i've lost i'm honestly not crying about because <laughs> like like they're not friends i would not sleep at night about or i'd be concerned about not having like they were just a phase in my life so i've never had like a serious 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 um friendship break up but i've i've had like a moment with one of my close friends where we're not where we're not speaking because of some stupid rumor but then um we rekindled our friendship just a couple of years ago and then it was like we never lost touch so she when when we were separated i did feel bad you could see um we're no longer friends because we we're really good friends um but other than her i've never had any um hiccups with any friends or not necessarily that i've never had any hiccups with friends i've never lost any of my important friends or friends that i really really like I, friends that i really really like i still i still have them in my life right now i'm so sorry if you if i've lost you and you think i kid <laughs> that's so mean that's not nice oh my god that's not nice but like i'm being honest like if i'm no longer friends with you and you are watching this honestly i don't have a problem with that like i don't want to lie to you and say like i have a problem with losing the friends i've lost i'm not i'm not someone who who's who's attached to friends um i'm a i'm a friend that lets you breathe i'm a friend i feel like i'm a low maintenance no maintenance i'm a low maintenance friend that's what i mean that's what i wanted to say actually like i don't require much from you i will not text you every day i will not call you every day um i won't bother you i won't i won't be in your business that much i won't talk about you i won't know your business i won't ask about you na 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 like i'm just there for you when you need me and then that's it i also do think i would say that's a bad thing about me because i feel like if you're really friends with someone you should be asking them like about their life but thing is i don't ask people because i don't like it when someone asks me about my life like it's so weird when someone will send me a text and is like oh hey how's your life and then like i don't know i don't know what to say like i never know what to say like honestly i never know what to say should i say like oh my life is great like i, I don't know i don't know how do, like how do people deal with like having friends how do people deal with having friends honestly it's hard having friends having friends is, is, is hard um that's why the friends i've had for long i'm keeping them for life because i i'm not trying to make any friends i'm lying i do want new friends actually 
I'm lying. Yo, I'm such a liar. I do want new friends in my life. I do want new people. But I feel like I'm too busy, guys. Like, I'm so busy, like, to maintain or to start new friendships. And I do like the whole idea. You know how um, I always watch Nella Rose's, Nella Rose, Nella Rose's channel. Always watch her and, like, her friends on her YouTube channel. They all have YouTube channels, blah, 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 blah. All that thing. I like that vibe. I like that vibe. But seemingly, like, <laughs> as much as I like it, you have to work on friendships. Friendships are like relationships. So if you have a friend, you treat her the same way you would treat your romantic partner or your your boyfriend or your girlfriend. And I feel like that's the that's the problem for me. Like I don't wanna do that. Um, I'm so lazy. That's why I feel like I don't have a lot of friends because I'm super lazy. Like I'm super 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 lazy. So when it comes to friendships. I honestly don't have much to say about that. I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't have much to say about friends because I'm not someone who has a lot of friends. I'm not someone who nibbles in friendships. <laughs> so weird. So weird. So weird about me. Not one thing about me that is so weird because I look like i like friends i look like the type of person you would like to hang out with like i'm so chilled i'm cool even if i saw so myself i'm nice but you would get bored if you were friends with me like you would literally get bored because I would not call you i would not text you i would be just there chilling g waiting for you to call me or update me with your life like i don't know guys honestly that's why i think i'm a toxic friend i don't want to lie to you guys that's why i said at the beginning of the video that i can't talk about toxic friends because i feel like I'm I'm a bit toxic. Please guys comment down below if that's toxic of me. If the fact that I I'm not someone who who's friendly or who is like calling their friends, talking to their friends all the time, I don't is that toxic? I don't think so though. I think it's me giving you your space to live your life as a as a grown adult <laughs> i'm grown we are all grown so i like giving people their space to just like to just like do the do their own thing do your own thing be your own person not with me always being around you calling you texting you blah blah blah, blah, blah. i'm just gonna do a simple brown i quickly so yeah i don't know guys honestly when it comes to friends i am very much so weird and i'm very much so picky um i am also a jealous friend which i feel like that's why or that's one of the reasons i am not um or oh, it's hard for me to make new friends because i am such a jealous friend like i'm one of those friends who don't believe that you should have a lot of friends if you're my friend <laughs> like why do you need other friends if you're really my friend like like honestly honestly like because i don't mind being there and you calling me like us talking on the phone it's just that i haven't really found that friend who wants to talk all the time so i'm stuck with my old ways of um not calling not checking up on people because i don't have that friend who wants to 
talk all the time most of my friends they are busy with their own lives they are doing their things they are on youtube some of them some of them are married so it's like these people are busy these people are busy and they are booked so it becomes relatively hard to be friends with people who are busy and now and i'm saying like busy but i don't want to lie to you guys and say like i don't want to have friends i do sometimes um want their want like friends because i do think it's important to have like a sisterhood like to have a group of friends in jay that you that you chill with so that you have bridesmaids when you get married if you're someone who wants to nibble in the department of marriage so now how do you then spot if someone is toxic someone asked on my instagram so for me a toxic friend is <laughs> you know there are these types of friends they who like talking about themselves that's toxic if when if whenever if whenever if if what what if whenever if whenever if when whatever if whenever i don't think i like this makeup look but or this eye look rather but so the fighting cop so all will be fine all will be well child right so if you have a friend like i was saying who likes talking about themselves all the damn time then that friend is toxic if gungu to you have a friend this friend of yours um is always in j talking about themselves they don't ask you how you're doing they don't ask anything about you they don't ask if you're fine they don't wanna even if you try talking to them about you they just ignore you blah 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 that person is toxic for you cut them off i'm telling you right now i know i'm not the best of friend but when my friends speak i always listen i am always lending an ear if they want to talk about anything i'm always there to listen to their stories or whatever if they're going through something i'm always there to listen so if you have a friend who is literally 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 talk about themselves all the time then now nah, guys cut cut block blocker 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 block trust and believe me trust me on that one like how are you how are you a friend when you don't want to listen to someone like how are you a friend how are you a friend i feel like i've kept my friends for a long time simply because there's something that i'm doing right as much as i'm saying i'm not the best of friend or i could do better but trust me i am i am i'm right you know i'm okay i try my best but especially when it comes to things like listening to my friends and being there for my friends and calling not necessarily calling but i can say calling when someone is going through something i do check up with my friends i do text my friends when they tell me like yo bro like Whew. i'm not fine i do check up on my friends like i'm not i'm not i don't just ghost people but i'm not want to just dive in and check up on you i i wait for you to come to me and tell me like listen since i'm going through something and then when you say you're going through something chances are i'm going to be there for you that's how i am and then um what are some other signs um that show toxicity toxicity wow and friends um i think also a friend who low key 
<laughs> I've had I've had this friend who low key hates you but doesn't have the balls the guts the gastric juices you know the intestinal juices you know the enzymes you know to tell you or to not be afraid because i think it takes guts for someone to actually say like i don't like this girl and i don't want to be friends with her like it takes serious serious mm -hmm. plus 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 my favorite thing in the entire world right i think it takes serious guts for someone to be like ah, i don't want to be a friend i don't like you so if someone secretly doesn't like you or secretly hates you then they are toxic and you know i've had friends what is this brush i'm looking for there's a brush i'm looking for and for some odd reason i can't see it next to me but i i saw it that i placed it here oh my here it is here is it here it is all right so as i was saying i have this friend okay i still have the friend which is also weird please don't ask me why i'm so friends with this hun i think it's because i just want to see how far she'll take it like i low-key want to see how long she will keep up this thing of acting like she likes me whereas i know she doesn't like me how do i know she doesn't like me you may ask she has expressed to other people that she doesn't like me and those other people because they know me also they've said to me multiple times not one person a lot of people they have said to me multiple times since this girl is saying she doesn't like you so i know i don't know how long she's trying to keep that up but i do feel like that's that's toxic that's a toxic that's very toxic of her but you know what i mean i'm so chilled to a point where even if she doesn't like me like honestly like i don't care like she can continue not liking me i don't care i honestly i don't care she can continue not liking me um she can continue telling people that she doesn't like me i'm not gonna block her i'm not gonna not i'm not not gonna talk to her i'm still gonna talk to her even if she calls me her friend but she secretly lies and talks and talks nonsense about me but i'm still, I'm still gonna continue i'm still gonna continue being myself and yeah that's me i'm gonna wear these lashes i'm i'm not sure where they're from um i lost the the package i think so let me put some glue on these things while i talk about my toxic friend so and i've known her for a long time which is weird and she still doesn't like me that much and i can see whenever she whenever like i'm around her and then um you know how this is another this is another um way you can tell which like a friend is toxic she does this as well she like when we when we are around people and then maybe one of the people or like one of your friends will compliment me about something they will be like maybe ah oh since i like your dress she's gonna be like yeah it's right and then it's like okay it's right um okay okay like it's like she tries to i don't know to to make me feel bad for her friends saying that i look good and then she does it in a 
in a way that is like condescending in, in, in if i can say if i can put it like that like you know how people will say like oh you look good and then someone's gonna be like yeah she's right like belittling the fact that someone just said i look good that's toxic my friends that is that is toxicity at its best if your friend does that it is toxic let me mascarize and also quickly um do my where's the mirror why can't i find this small mirror right and then what are some other things or ways in which you can um let's see let me think about it i don't know how to put this one but there are these friends there are these friends who who low-key say things about you you've said to them in private in public more especially if you've told them something about yourself that you don't like um for example let's say we are getting dressed and then i say oh my god this dress or whatever i'm wearing i can't mascarize and speak <laughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Let me, while I wait for that, let me quickly zoom our lips. I think I'm gonna go for a nude glossy lip today, as per usual. Right? So, I was saying let's say you guys are getting dressed you and your friends you are preparing to go out or to go to meet gents or whatever and then you say to one of your friends oh this thing i'm wearing whatever it can, whatever it may be a dress pants whatever you say oh my god it just makes me look fat right and then they, your friends convince you like, oh no man, this looks good. And then you go out and then you meet gents, right? And then, and then when, when there's a, like a guy who sort of like likes you and you guys are talking, all your friends are there, you guys are talking, everyone is just like having a conversation or you guys are having like a nice nice chat and then your friend decides to bring up the fact that you said your dress makes you look fat or you think your dress makes you look fat or maybe one of the guys compliment you they're like oh the dress suits you and it's like yeah you remember when you said this dress makes you look fat and then you're like like did you really have to bring that up right now oh. like those types of friends are toxic like don't bring my business talk about my business when we are joining the people why are you talking about me like that during the people why are we, why are you bringing up something we spoke about in private during the people like is it that serious oh i had this other friend <laughs> yeah guys i have so many stories about friends yo I had this other friend 
when I was in varsity. This is turning out too dark. And I honestly don't want it to be dark. I want it to be like nude, not brown. Right? So I had this friend. This friend of mine had this thing of belittling my friends or my other friends in front of me. Like, every time I would introduce her to a new friend, she'd be like, Oh my God, why are you guys friends? I don't see why you guys are friends. Um, please fix that. Like, she always had issues with my other friends. And that is toxic. If your friend has problems with anyone or everybody who is anyone, that's toxic. If your friend I just thought of something quickly if your friend writes is always posting about toxic friends on their whatsapp status they are toxic <laughs> that one will not sit well with some of my friends but you know these girls everyone is their hater <laughs> But like we don't know you that well we don't know you no one knows you why do you think everyone's your hater like those people are toxic people who think everyone is out to get them toxic toxicity let me put on my lashes guys let me put on my lashes guys Mm -hmm. I'm cute. Starting to look cute or whatever. So yeah, like honestly, those those people who think everyone hates them, I don't know why I'm doing that, but yeah, those people who think. Everyone hates them. They have enemies in the world. They're always writing about, oh, people hate me, blah, 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 blah. Those people are toxic, guys. Why would you just randomly think that people don't like you? Why would you randomly just say this and then you think, Buz Mang Mang hate you, like, are you Beyonce? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Really, you think everyone hates you? Like, guys, people don't. People don't have time to hate you. People don't have time, honestly, to hate you. If they want to hate you, they will hate you. But people don't have time for that nonsense. So if Ungutu, you have friends who do those things, they are. Toxic, my sister. Stay away from people like that. Stay away from people like that. I don't know where I got these lashes from me, and they are so long. Let me fix these lashes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and and I'm back. So, like I was saying, I'm not the best the best friend but i try my best not to be toxic to a point where um i am messing up someone's life or i'm making someone feel bad like the thing i hate about toxic friends is that they will drag you they will drag you down with them and personally i don't like that i don't like that i don't like it when people people make you feel bad 
Let me spray this. Hey, this is actually um, straight hair I got from this other lady at church. We cap. Um, it was black, and then I decided that I wanted to have a blonde short wig, and I got this one and i dyed it myself and i cut it into a bob because i wanted a blonde bob so like i was saying um what was i saying guys what was i saying i forgot honestly i don't want to lie to you should i open wait I don't know should i continue with my middle part let me just continue with that because i wanted to study some more but i'm honestly so lazy i i posted um a video on my stories with this hair and people were asking me how i got it to look um like it was wet and this is how i just spray water on it a bit already it had the pattern because i did it before but it is straight hair i just put water and then i put some mousse and then i just you know do that until i am happy with the outcome I think it looks decent don't you guys think so i think so i think it looks i think it looks decent cute I look cute guys so just to just to finish it wow so just to finish off this conversation we are having um, when it comes to friends make sure that you have people who are supportive loving um okay they like you they actually like you people who are not there because of what you offer them or you give them make sure you are with people or you have friends who genuinely genuinely like you and you're going to be fine trust me I've been fine my whole life and I don't have a lot of friends. I'm not someone who's, like I said, I'm not someone who's good at friendshiping. That's why you'll hardly see me on friendship dates or out with friends or doing things with friends because I am a solo person. Not that I don't have friends, I do have friends, but I'm just saying, you know, and also from my young girls like honestly friends are not the be all you don't need to have a lot of friends you just need to have a group of girls one or two girls who you genuinely like and they like you back and you go be fine you gonna be fine honestly if you have siblings best best lucky you you are so lucky if you are friends so i hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat get ready with me i know it was all over the place because i didn't plan or i didn't formulate a plan on how i was gonna speak about friends i just decided yeah, you know what someone said i should speak about friends or toxic friends how to spot a toxic friend um then i just decided let me just film quickly and get ready for bed 
because i'm not going anywhere so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are on the road to 2000 subscribers and that's on that next time when i do a chit chat get ready with me i am going to be talking about something that is hmm. Hmm. make sure you subscribe and you get ready for that get ready <laughs> i'm so annoying hopefully you guys really did enjoy this video like i said it was all over the place but you know what that's my spillion that's me that's Cynthia, and i love you all grats <laughs>